but that music kicked in at great times too. Didn't scare me that time, you dick. Okay, I'm gonna run, swim, panic, go as fast as I possibly can back to my Cyclops. Uh, and I'm gonna make a blue tablet, which is, what is it? An ion cube? Should probably take that with me, right? Um, an ion cube and she's okay you got me that time god damn it <laughs> it's an ion cube and two kyanite i'll just grab an extra one the reason i'm saving here is completely unrelated to the confidence in my abilities i don't know where the sea dragon is but i don't see it so far oh god i'm burning my health's not going down Weirdly enough. Okay. In. Made it. Oh god. Health's fine. I got two suckies on me. How's my power? Oh, oh thank god. Okay. Meaning, while I'm here, I can make more water. Imagine not putting a fabricator in your cyclops and you realize you need another blue tablet. And you have to go all the way back up to your base, make the tablet, come all the way back down. Boy, that would suck, wouldn't it? This is what I get for planning ahead. I am rewarded for good behavior. Okay. Fucking hell. Saving at every opportunity. I would smack those sucker fuckers off, but you know what? I don't really want to burn to death. So I'm just going to go straight back. Again, I don't know where the sea dragon is, but he seems to have fucked off, so good news for me. I only have a half an hour more! Ugh! Okay, I'm gonna finish exploring this facility, I'm gonna go back to my base, and then I'm gonna have to stop. Uh, you, you got me a little bit. Got me a little bit with that one. <laughs> okay, but I have the blue artifact. I'm gonna keep exploring. It's so, like... Oh my god, another one. Are you for real? You know, I'm not sure if going in, or like not going in, powers the other side or not, so I'm just gonna- It takes a long time and I'm running out of time, but just in case. Mushroom forest? No, that's 200 meters. Uh, Kush zone. Bulb zone? Bulb zone is Kush zone. Just throwing that- wait a minute. Is this not the mountain island? Not mountain island, um... Uh, uh, no, fucking floating island. That's what, that's the word I was looking for. I don't think so. This doesn't really look familiar. Hey, it comes out in the bulb zone. Wow. Wow. Okay, well, it comes out at the bulb zone about 300 meters down. I don't have a vehicle or anything, so I'm not gonna be an idiot. <laughs> I'm just gonna go back in. <laughs> Alright, that comes out of the bulb zone. Ow, my ankles. Okay. And we're back. Where's the other- where's the last one gonna come out at, I wonder? Like, what else is left? Grand Reef, maybe? Grand Reef seems a little close to the Lost River, so maybe not. Okay, we're in a center room now. I'm assuming this is not an archway. What's in here? No. No! This is where the vents go! No. Oh, fuck off with your madness! What is that? Oh, more pipes. No way! The vents connect all the way down here. Look at the peepers! Enzyme host peepers leaving the containment facility. You're the right, they're spit back out, unharmed. The outflow pipes are filled with peepers traveling back towards the surface. Specimens show no symptoms of infection. All specimens scanned are carrying enzyme 42. 
And they're a primary source of food for all the predators. They're prey, they're common prey. So the predators eat these things and that's how they've managed to somewhat keep the infection under control. But I've been eating peepers this whole time and I'm still infected, so maybe that's not it. It inhibits the bacterium. Specimen stomach cavities are otherwise empty, suggesting they may have purged the contents before entering the pipes. If peepers have evolved to distribute the enzyme via the pipe network, this may explain part of the mechanism by which life on 4546B has survived since the bacterial outbreak. Whoa! <laughs> That's so cool! Oh my god! So that it's not necessarily curing the infection in its current state, but it's managed to kind of keep it under control. Kind of. Again, sort of. Somewhat effectively, but not really. This pipe's drawing water into the conf <laughs> Let me start that sentence over. <laughs> the pipes drawing water into the containment facility are filled with peepers arriving from the surface. Remember, we see them get sucked in? The fish show no signs of distress. The specimens scanned have all consumed high quantities of seeds and organic matter from the surface. Some specimens are beginning to show signs of infection. Wow. That is mind-boggling. I never would have guessed from up top in the surface looking at the vents. Ventilation control. Integrating new PDA data. Water flowing to and from the primary containment facility. Oh, thank God. I have, I've had my capture muted this whole time. Good. I kind of had a I had a brain fart there for a second and I was like, did I mute my, did I mute my gameplay? <laughs> I did that. We're good. Water flowing to and from the primary containment facilities being automatically controlled independently of other safeguards. Data on the water composition has been recorded. Water is being drawn from different biomes around the surface of the planet. The water temperature is considerably lower than the volcanic environment, duh, outside the facility, while microorganism and nutrient counts are substantially higher. Oxygen-deprived water is being flooded from the system and recycled back to the surface. If it's oxygen deprived, why are you putting it back up to the surface? I don't know. I don't really understand all this. <laughs> I understand some of it, <laughs> but not definitely not all of it. Oh my god, that is one hell of a mindfuck. That's crazy. Those I was like, another vent? Why are these all over the place? This is why. Life would have been wiped out on this planet by now if not for that. The peepers! Of all things! The peepers! Or would have been sustaining life on this planet because of the of, of these pipelines. That is wild. I've got a cooked one in my inventory right now. <laughs> That's insane. Oh my god. Alright, let's power you up and see where you go, my friend. I'm running out of time. Oh wait, nope, I'm saving before I go in. I never know what's gonna happen when I go in here, so I'm just gonna save, okay. As they say so gracefully in Monty Python and the Holy Grail, get on with it! Okay, here we go. What the fuck? Why am I, duh, what? Why am I not swimming? I have a feeling this did not load properly. There we go. <laughs> that was weird. Please continue loading. Ah, it's under the mushroom forest, just like I predicted. I'm not going to go out there because it looks very unloaded and broken. But, uh, yeah, this is the mushroom forest. It's kind of starting to load in. Yeah. <laughs> cool. There's one in the mushroom forest somewhere. Markiplier and 8-Bit Ryan and Jack Septiguy, who are my favorite three who've played Subnautica. Um, just like watching them upload videos and the thumbnails saying like, you know, endgame stuff that's kind of spoilery. And I had to like quickly look away like, no, don't read that. Like, you haven't played it yet. And just like the fact that it's over or it's ending. Kind of. I still have to build the rocket. But I mean, it's ending. And 
that makes me so excited and so happy and so sad at the same time. I've been playing this game on and off for years. And it's just gonna be over until below zero. But I don't know, it's just something this special. I don't really want it to end, but you know, nothing lasts forever. At Unknown Worlds, I don't know if you're working on a new game, you're probably still working on Below Zero right now, but if you make another game, I hope it's like this. Survival on an alien world. I hope it's like this. Well, this is a big, empty, scary room. There's nothing in here, are you serious? Maybe I'll save. I got the, I got the force field open, so I'll save. <laughs> sure. What's up there? Oh, damn. It's down there, isn't it? I'm gonna go get the prawn suit! <laughs> I don't wanna go down there alone. <laughs> Abyss Walker is gonna come with me. Oh, fuck. She said... She said she wanted to help me. But, you know... I've been lied to before, thanks, Bioshock. People saying they wanna help me. And then they fucking don't. Of course, that's people. People suck. Oh my god. This is what it's led to. Everything that we've done. All the progress we've made. Has brought us to this. I'm gonna fill up my water and my food real quick. Good enough. We gotta do this. Oh god. Oh my god! Holy fucking- Please don't eat me! To play. Others came here once. They built these walls. It was. They played alone. They bored me. Now they're gone. And instead, we have you. We are curious whether you swim with the current or fight against it as they did. That is not what I was expecting from the Sea Emperor. <laughs> she just swims away. I was expecting it to, you know, try and eat me. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I figured that out at the last possible second. <laughs> it's totally her. Or fight against it as they did. What do you mean? I bring my prawn suit down there? I kind of don't want to. I want to swim with- I want to swim with her. I'm very trusting all of a sudden. <laughs> I was just like, well, thanks, Bioshock. Now I don't trust anything that says it wants to help me. And now I'm just like, let me swim with it. Oh my god. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Hey, where are you going? Oh my god. Oh, it's so dead in here. I guess they've been gone a long time. Oh, you're beautiful. Hi. <gasps> uh. 
Unlike other alien facilities, scans indicate this location supports a diverse and healthy ecosystem. Explanation unclear at this time. I was gonna say. Guys, I'm like, this is amazing. I wasn't expecting this game to make me cry. <laughs> I'm wasting all my oxygen. Oh, fuck. Pull it together, Nene, pull it together. Oh my god. So, I guess technically this is a safe place to stop, but I'm gonna, I've got at least 15 more minutes. I can keep going. I'm gonna bring the prawn suit down here. Wow, that was... Oh, that was magical, just swimming with her. Hi. Oh god, why is it making me well- Oh god, hello, okay, hi, please. You're kind of scaring me now. Oh god, no, frame rate, not a good time, thank you. Wow. So, can I scan her? I should probably scan her, right? Detecting yeah. unusually passive behavioral patterns in nearby predators. Reason unknown. Wait, hold on. What's that? What's that trophy? Don't mean to break the immersion, sorry, but... Ah, that's Odyssey! What the fuck are you doing? Get out of here! I want some Nautica! Why is it showing me Odyssey for some Nautica? Hey, Peeper, you're way more important than I expected you to be. That was the coolest thing in the world! 14,000 leagues under the sea. Find the primary container facility. I did that a long time ago, actually. I'm gonna scan you. Is that okay? Environment scans indicate the water here is rich with a rare plant and like life form, which depends on the organic detritus produced by the ecosystem around it. Oh god, are you- Oh god, are you docile? Oh Jesus. Okay, I think you're docile. I think everything in here is docile. Is she telepathically controlling all of them not to attack me? Honey, can you please slow down so I can scan you? Please? I would love to do that. Ah, she's too fast. I can't scan her. She ain't slowing down for the likes of me. Okay. This place is a lot- It's so small! How long have you been just swimming in circles down here? What are those? Lady? Miss? Madam? What are those? The document said you were infertile! What? What? Oh god. Yeah, have a seat. I, you know, I'll, 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 I'll be here a while. Hey. How did you- how'd you do it? Oh, I guess you can lay eggs, they just don't hatch. Is that the meat? Well, now that you're not swimming. Can I scan you? Oh, no, she takes off. Okay, she doesn't- Okay, okay, I'll respect your privacy. Okay, you can come back and sit down now. Hey, you can come back and sit down now. Is that a warp gate? That's a phase gate! Warp gate arch thing! It's all covered in sand, though. I can't use it. Aquarium arch. Where does that go? This arch was left inactive when the facility was abandoned. It likely served as an access point to the surface of the planet. <gasps> it is much too small for the Emperor to pass through, but would accommodate smaller life forms. Like me? Like me? Or the babies? I'm gonna, I'm gonna scan it first, though, if that's alright with you. Hatching enzymes. The emperor's specimen's eggs are attached to some form of incubator. In a normal life cycle, it seems likely that sea emperors would have buried their eggs in shallower waters where different organic materials in the soil would have triggered a hatching response. The incubator suggests the aliens had resorted to developing artificial hatching enzymes, which would simulate the egg's natural hatching environment, but were unable to discover the formula. Hmm. With extensive information on the sea emperors themselves, it may still be possible to fabricate an artificial hatching enzyme using indigenous, indigenous ingredients. However, the only surviving source of that information may be the sea emperor itself. 
Well, it's a good thing she knows English. <laughs> Is she gonna tell me? Why would she tell me? And not the- not the aliens? What- What she said about them going- fighting against the current. Hey. I kinda probably should've moved the prawn suit, shouldn't I have? I'm so sorry. I'm not ready to do it! I'm so sorry! <laughs> I'm so just mes- I keep forgetting what I'm doing! <laughs> oh, I was terrified to face you the entire game! And you're so chill! I love it. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm just- I'm, I'm, all, I'm all over the fucking place. I don't know what I'm doing. I would love to scan her. But she won't slow down for me. Ready to do it now. I can hop into the prom suit for air whenever I need it. I'm gonna put it up here for dramatic effect. Ah, oh, I ran out of thrust of power! Nailed it. Alright, come have a seat. I'm actually gonna do it this time. No bullshit. I'm actually gonna do it this time. <laughs> here she comes. You are just phenomenal. You're amazing. Um, my young need to hatch, to play outside this place. We have been here so long. I know. The others built a passage to reach the world outside. I asked them for this freedom, but they could not hear me. Because they were If machines. you help us, I will give you freely what the others tried in vain to take. Okay. Cool. She's over here by the by the archway. She knows. So that's why she didn't give it to them. She couldn't. But why? Why can she telepathically communicate with me and not with them? Is it because they're... Machines? I don't know. For such a psychologically developed... Species of alien? It shocks me she wasn't able to, to communicate with them. That's weird. I still can't scan you? Okay, you know, I won't try. I won't, I won't make you get up and move. Okay, I'm going. Oh my god, this is the coolest fucking shit in the world! I don't have hatching enzymes. I don't- I don't have the- I don't have those things. Um, she said she'd give it to me. How? For me, she cleared the way. You scared me there for a second when you opened your big beak mouth thing. Holy fucking shit. This will take me back to the surface. Which doesn't help me, because my Cyclops is still out in the lava zone somewhere. <laughs> I can stay there. Fuck it. <laughs> Here we go. With the passage you have opened, my young can leave this place. But first they must feel the time is right and break free of their shells. Okay. This is what the others could not force from me. Hello. To you, I give the secret willingly. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is this is what they couldn't get. This is what they were missing. Oh, it's a blueprint. 30 seconds. Ah, fucking shit. Life cycle. Okay, I'll read that in a second. It's under advanced theories. Got it. Uncommonly strong shell lining. Organic growth on the exterior suggests these eggs may be hundreds or thousands of years old. 
Alien devices penetrate the outer shell layer. Fucking hell. Likely designed to supply them with nutrients and to isolate them from the surrounding environment. Like many eggs on 4546B, these do not contain a nutrient supply which is slowly exhausted by the embryo. Instead, they exist in a form of natural stasis awaiting appropriate hatching conditions. Weird. There is a ge high genetic match between these organisms and the leviathan in the vicinity. Duh. They appear to be stable and healthy. It is likely that ideal hatching conditions for the eggs vary considerably from ideal survival conditions for the parent. Okay. Available biological data has been used to synthesize the effects of the alien bacterium on the sea emperor's natural life cycle. I gotta stop playing! Alright, I'm gonna read this, then I gotta stop. This creature likely lived and moved in small herds around the planet's ocean trenches, coming to the surface to feed off the huge volumes of microorganisms in the shallower waters. Family size would be strictly limited by available food supply. Offspring would likely split off at a young age to form their own herds elsewhere. Given their sparse population, mating and egg laying was likely infrequent, perhaps a once in a lifetime event. The species likely had a preferred environment for egg laying. In fact, successful hatching may depend on such conditions. Given the rarity of this event, it is impossible to calculate those conditions precisely. There is no evidence to support the assumption that all members of the species were immune from the alien bacterium. Even if this is so, there is evidence that introduction of the bacterium decimated life on the planet, and this would have had catastrophic effect on the emperor's food supply and survival rate. The symbiotic relationship between this specimen and other life forms, pff, yeah, I'm aware of that, likely developed as a direct result of the bacterial infection? Those life forms which learned to keep the emperor alive survived with its help. This may explain the vast tracts of lifeless ocean in a rough perimeter around the Emperor's location. I never thought of it like that. There it is. Oh my god! The pieces of the mushroom that I took from the mushroom forest? <laughs> I needed that to make the enzymes to hatch the eggs! I was like, I'm gonna grow a mushroom! Oh, it's not letting me plant it! I guess I'll hang on to it! <laughs> I think I have sea crown in a grow bed. I think I've got ghost weed growing in a grow bed outside my base too! I just took them and planted them because they were pretty! <laughs> I have bulb bushes to- the only thing I'm missing is eye stalks! I have everything in front of my base! Or in my base that I need to do this. Holy fucking shit! <laughs> wow. That's unfortunately gonna have to wait for next time. But I'm, I've almost got this all squared away and under control. I've almost got this already because... Because fucking random. I was like, ooh, pretty plant. Let me take this and put it in my base. Oh my god. Alright. Well, you know... Hello. Alright. That's mind-blowing. I have almost everything I need. Now this is gonna take me back to the surface. I might... It's after 10 o'clock. But I might... Yep, after 10 p.m. <laughs> I might have enough time to get back to my base, but if not, I'll just go there off camera. There's nothing special there. Oh, yep, I gotta stop. I am no longer... <laughs> this one load faster! I wanna see where this comes out at, but I kinda have to stop. <laughs> like, I'm out of time. My dogs are going crazy. Oh my god. I did not know there was an archway here. Well, that's where it comes out at. Alright, mystery solved. I gotta stop now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Rather abrupt end, but... Can't really keep going with this.